We live in a different time. We live in a time in American history where the President of the United States emails me. <laughs> emails me. Like three times a week. And I kind of don't give a shit anymore. That's crazy. Like, my grandmother, her name is Rosemary Coffee. Everybody called her Mickey. That's not really important to the story. I just like how they did nicknames back then, you know? She had three valid nicknames, Rose, Marie, and Coffee. And they were like, you Irish? And she was like, yeah. And they're like, ah, you Mick. You Mickey. Yeah. Mickey. Yeah. My grandfather's nickname, Jimmy Fantastic. He worked at the post office. What's so fucking fantastic? Anyway. So my grandmother, Rose, Marie, Coffee, everybody called her Mickey. She had a picture of JFK hanging in her kitchen at all times. If JFK ever called her, dude, she'd shoot her entire family to get some quiet in the house. <laughs> to talk to JFK on the phone for 10 seconds. And now I get a push notification from the president. I'm like, I'm jerking off, fuck off. The president! <laughs> you emails me! <laughs> and they're not professional emails. Like they almost always start with, Ugh, I could really use your help. I got my help? <laughs> Aren't you the president? Don't you have all the earth's resources at your finger? T I mean, I'm slinging jokes at Idiot Box. There's not much I can do for the executive branch of government. Sorry. Sometimes he gets desperate. He goes, I need you. I need you right now. I go, am I dating the president? What the fuck? Is my girlfriend Joseph R. Biden? Fuck. <laughs> I hope not, but I think so, because sometimes he gets angry. You don't respond. He goes, hey, I'd really like to hear from you. I go, I'm busy, man. I'm uh, fucking busy, all right? Trying to pay off these student loans that you said you pay. Oh, it's, it's fine. It's fine. No, it's, it's cool. Yeah, we fucked once. <laughs> a couple years ago, but didn't mean a lot to me, to be honest with you. It must have really meant a lot to him because he keeps reaching out just to talk. He's like, hey, really like to hear your voice. I'm like, you're laying it on thick, Joe. You're laying. And at the wrong time, too. Some of you like, hey, it's Joe Joe. <laughs> Remember when you came inside my booth and you fingered my ballot? I go, Jesus, it's noon on Mother's Day. Where do you think I am, bro? <laughs> you can't be emailing me this shit. You can't. I just don't want to be there when he finds out I'm texting Cory Booker. You know what I mean? That's going to be a rough day. In the White House. You guys get these emails? You guys get the president emails? Yeah. I mean, yeah, okay, a couple of you. Even if you don't, you do. Check your spam. They're there. <laughs> They got everybody's email. Some people are angry. They're like, the government's watching us. It's like, your email is your name at gmail.com. You're not making it hard. For anyone. <laughs> they had a meeting at the Pentagon. They were like, we need everyone's emails by the end of the month. They're like, I can get them to you by the end of the conversation. They're here. They'll have it. <laughs> You're conservative. You get an email. It's a picture of Trump's head on John Cena's body. It's like, Sunday, Sunday, Sunday. <laughs> the cage match of the century. Strongest man on earth, current president and super saiyan, Donald J. Trump. Versus Chinese drug lord, Hunter Biden. <laughs> Trump's a lot to win. All he needs from you is... Five dollars. Just five dollars. You might. Five dollars. Obviously, Trump's strength knows no bounds, but five dollars. <laughs> if you're liberal, you get an email. It's a picture of Biden's head. On Biden's body, you go, shit, that's what he looks like. <laughs> <laughs> we're fucked. <laughs> that's our guy. That's what they say in the email. They go, we're fucked. <laughs> we're so fucked. God, they're making it so hard for us. We keep going up, we're like, hey, and they're like, mm, and we're like, ah. <laughs> so if you could find it in your heart to give us one dollar, just one dollar. Just one dollar, a hundred thousand times. Just a hundred thousand dollars once, just please. Just then we would solve all the problems in a hundred years. In a hundred years we could solve everything. Just think of your grandchildren. Think of your grandchildren. Some of you are like, no, no, nope. I don't get these emails. I'm an independent. I'm a libertarian. I believe in independent thought. I don't even have an email. All right. Wanna give me five dollars? I could use five dollars. You wanna give me five dollars? If $5 is going somewhere, I'll get to use it. I'm just saying. All right, after the show. We'll talk after the show. <laughs>